Well, hello and welcome uh, to Calgon Carbon's new uh, Gila Bend facility. Um, we're really excited to have everybody here. We're glad you could join us today for this opening of our new carbon reactivation facility. I would like to uh, recognize the cities of Phoenix, city of Scottsdale, and the city of Glendale. Without these water authorities, uh, we wouldn't be here today. I would also like to rec recognize Ak Chin Indian community who have been with, uh, been using our company's uh, carbon and uh, equipment to treat their water since uh, November of last year. At this point, I would like to uh, welcome uh, to the stage Ms. Mr. Uh, Timothy Rupert. Mr. Rupert is a member of Calgon Carbon's board of directors and he's, he's been with our board since 2005. Tim? Thanks, Bob. Good morning, everyone. It's a good group. Uh, as Bob said, I am a member of the board of directors of Calgon, and I, along with the other directors, voted to approve this project back when it was uh, originally proposed. And we did that because we believe it'll be a good investment for the company, for our shareholders, and it's certainly uh, consistent with our ongoing business strategy. However, I am here today to confess a, a personal conflict, an ulterior motive, if you will. See, my wife and I own a home in Scottsdale, so I have a personal vested interest in making sure there's clean water in the greater Phoenix area. But with that said, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Calgon Carbon, uh, I want to thank uh, and congratulate all of you who were involved in this project and who brought it to fruition. Last August, uh, Kelgon's board made another important decision uh, when they selected Randy Durth as the company's new CEO. We have high expectations for Randy and he hasn't disappointed us. Uh, already we've seen a substantial reduction in our operating costs and a reorganization in our business units that we think will uh, make for a more effective management team and he's just getting started. Randy was on our board when um, this project was proposed, so he has supported it from its inception and then, of course, assumed responsibility for bringing it to the successful completion that we're here to celebrate today. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Randy Durth. Well, good morning, everybody. You know, a couple weeks ago, somebody mentioned we were going to have an air conditioner in our tent. Okay, now you have to understand in Pittsburgh right now, a good day is about 58 degrees, and I just couldn't put that together, but boy, I'm so glad we have it today, because it's hot out there. You know, this is really a remarkable, remarkable day for us, an exciting time, not only for us at Calgon Carbon, but also for the people at Gila Bend and also for the state of Arizona. You know, it's really the culmination of a lot of work, and two years worth of work that went into the planning and construction of the facility you're going to see here today. But supplying affordable, clean, and safe drinking water really is essential to sustaining growth and economic prosperity, not only in this region, but a lot of regions throughout the world and around our country. So the opening of this facility today really represents Calgon Carbon's commitment to participate in achieving the goals of clean water and safe water. Uh, we've really been fortunate to work with the mayor of Gila Bend, uh, Ron Henry's Ron, where's Ron at? Ron, welcome, thank you for being here this morning. Uh, Keith Watkins, Rob Morton in the Arizona Commerce Authority, John Kruger in the Greater Phoenix Economic Council, and other members of the community here in Gila Bend who are really have helped us and are really driving for growth and prosperity in this region, which is great. You know, the opening of this react reactivation plant is more than just a ribbon cutting ceremony. It truly is a celebration of ensuring safe, clean drinking water that we hope it's gonna ripple not only across this region, but as I said before, around the country, right here from Gila Bend. So our goal as a company truly is to provide water treatment facilities that are gonna serve thousands of communities. That's our goal. And millions of people across this nation that will have clean drinking water. And we again, hope that Gila Bend is the heart of what we hope to do across the country and that this will be an example of how it can be done and done well. Well, what's really in it for Gila Bend and the communities around around here. Um, we are going to hire, we have hired 25 high quality folks um, with the potential, and I hope this indeed is the result in a couple of years, that we will have 62 people working at this facility. We want to expand. 
But by having this facility, we're also reducing transportation costs to Phoenix. And we hope that that as well will translate into dollars that are saved by the taxpayers as we're closer to truly one of our largest customers. But this also means environmental responsibility. When you think of reactivation, and again, you're going to have the opportunity to truly see what reactivation is. By its very nature, we're taking carbon and re we're recycling that. And carbon that originally was used to take out impurities in water is now being restored and can be used many times over. This is something I know that we're proud of. And we hope that the workers here at Gila Bend will be proud of that as well. And when we designed this plant, we designed this plant to operate efficiently and incorporating all of the best sustainability features that we could in a plant. For instance, all the lights that we have out here are LED lights. The heat kiln that you'll see in a few minutes reuses the energy so that we can better operate the furnace. We've also incorporated into this facility variable speed, high efficiency motors that are the best that could be the most sustainable that they could be to ensure that we are at the highest standards at this plant. There were a lot of companies, a lot of engineering firms, a lot of construction firms that helped us along the way. In fact, too many that I'm going to mention. But let me just say, this team of companies really met the challenge. We put a lot of challenges on them, so we're really pleased that they're here today as well celebrating with us. We thank them for their great work and dedication. I also want to thank Mayor Henry and all the Gila Bend Chamber of Commerce folks that have helped us along the way, the Arizona Commerce Authority, the Greater Phoenix Economic Council, and the cities of Phoenix, Scottsdale, and Glendale, as well as all of the surrounding communities. They really contributed a lot of time, a lot of effort, in making this plant um, come to realization. I really believe that the plant that's out there behind you, uh, to my right, will serve as a model for other communities. And it's really going to be the state-of-the-art facility for reactivation, the model used around the world for carbon for water treatment. When you look at America's water supply, and unfortunately it's not as clean as many think it is, there's many contaminants such as disinfection byproducts, pharmaceuticals, and personal care products that find their way, unfortunately, into our water. The good news is we produce product, and we're going to react product here that provide for simple and affordable treatment of those materials. So I know, I speak for all of us here at Calgon Carbon when I say, we are looking forward to serving this community for many years to come, as well as other communities, not only in Arizona, but around the country. Now I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce Keith Watkins. Keith is the Senior Vice President, Economic Rural Development for the Arizona Commerce Authority. And again, due to Keith's efforts and the work of many folks on his team, helped us make our decision to be here. So I'm very pleased to introduce Keith and allow him to say a few words. Keith. Well, thank you, Randy. On behalf of uh, the governor, our board of directors, and our CEO, Sandra Watson, I want to congratulate Calgon Carbon and the town of Gila Bend for uh, this incredible day and this incredible facility. The investment that you're making here in, in the state and the community is really something to be proud of. Uh, I can tell you, as, as a, a person who comes dove hunting down here every year for the past 35 years and go jeeping out here, uh, it, it's a particularly proud moment for me. Uh, to see this kind of uh, success and job growth in Gila Bend. I do want to take a minute to repre uh, recognize Representative Frank Pratt. Uh, without uh, Representative Pratt uh, and his leadership and his uh, colleagues at the legislature, as well as the governor, uh, with, without their uh, business-friendly uh, uh, policies and uh, uh, things that they implement down to legislature, our state wouldn't be as competitive as it is today, and, and folks like Randy and his team, I don't think would feel as confident making such investments uh, like this in our state. And so I want to thank Representative Pratt and his colleagues at the legislature. So, um, uh, I also want to thank uh, our, our, our partners at GPEC, uh, APS, uh, certainly uh, Rick Buss and Eric Fitzer at the town and their team, uh, as well as uh, Don Helton and Abacus uh, co constructors that, uh, that built this facility. But most importantly, I want to recognize Rob, Mo Rob Morton, who's my colleague uh, here to the right. Rob is really the one who did all the work from our perspective uh, at the uh, ACA on this. Rob has uh, worked with the uh, Calgon Carbon folks, Jack Adams and his team, since 2009 to make this uh, plant a reality here at Gila Bend today. So Rob, a uh, job well done, and Jack and Calgon, uh, thank you very much. This is really a terrific day for the state of Arizona and uh, Gila Bend. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, now we'd, I'd like to, we'd like to present Jerry, Jeremy Dolan to uh, come on up and talk a little bit about the, uh, the facility itself. Thanks, Bob. Uh, I'd like to start off by uh, thanking the Calgon Carbon employees. Uh, without you know our field services and our, our salespeople making this happen, uh, you know keeping the customers happy, we definitely uh, would not be here. I'd also like to thank all the people that helped start the plant, whether it be uh, HR that helped with hiring or uh, training that's uh, represented back here. Uh, I would have never got the place going. Uh, also, the new employees here that are part of the Calgon family now that, that are out there running the plant and some of whom can't be here because they're on shift work, they really have, have made it happen and uh, is, it's truly the only reason we're, we're up and running and looking so nice the way we are right now. Uh, and I'd just like to, to thank all those, including the, the engineers who, who helped uh, from day one, you know, designing, uh, you know, working with contractors and uh, getting the, the plant going. Uh, I'd just like to, to you know, congratulate you all on what a good job. <laughs> now, they, they wanted me to talk a, a little bit about the plant, but uh, pretty soon here we're about to get into a plant tour, and that's really where I, I'd, I'd like to get people out there and taking a look at the process where I can actually describe it a, a little bit better. Uh, you know, we've, everybody's uh, already had a, a little bit of uh, hand into to saying what's out there and the, the equipment being new and uh, sustainable. I, I'd like to point out that it, it does allow us to uh, give customers a, a product at reduced cost and uh, at, you know, 80% less carbon footprint than what they would be if they, they weren't taking our municipal reactivated carbon. Uh, you know, all the local communities are, are what's driving this plant, such as you know, Phoenix and Scottsdale and Glendale. And uh, you know, that's, that's really what's uh, making it all happen as well. Cut our loads. Here we go. 